The life of a desert is a story void for the sun. As I kiss the earth before night creeps around me, the Akatillo reaches for rainfall and its arms steady to capture a cloud. I've met archers who bend mesquite branches, shooting for more than blood from cloudy veins. They aim for thunderheads, aim to kill till there is nothing left. I've met clouds who are unafraid of these hunters, spitting back at them storms, heavy with anger and contempt. They burst with tears falling from the sky like bullet shells, finding the way to the ground. The Akatillo is witness to this horror. The hunt is seen through the raging monsoons devouring this entire neighborhood, flooding the base of velvet mesquitas and forcing the rotten palm trees on an exodus through the arroyos. No silence for the clouds roar, no mercy for the huntmen prepare their arm, no survivors as the rain clears. Now there can only be redemption and only silence can sweep the dying stories bound to sand archers. We're only part of desert life through the very stories that stream from sun lips and the clouds who are rare species of divine cannot survive all the seasons to come. The Akatillo still reaches to the sky as earth kisses my jawline and her breeze and she names the roots beneath me through wars. How life remains here, she says. This is how tomorrow flowers begin to exist and how resurrection occurs. Mm. Bones buried beneath stone and stems that twist and bend through the rocks trying to get their own piece of sunlight. And living in this desert where a kiss can quench more than just thirst, this is a truth long told. As I stand with the Akatillo, both of us in this neighborhood are residents on this earth. The revolving cycles of our lives, the moist dirt that cradles us as we await the next war, the Akatillo looking to the sky, myself looking at its roots.